And welcome back, Desk Poppers, to the greatest show on the planet. Once again, I'm with my boy, Daniel. Yes, sir. We're missing Angel. Uh, he's not going to be back for a while, so you guys are just going to have to get used to that. Yeah, yeah, just get used to seeing us for a minute. We're just going to go over uh, Season 1, Episode 3 of Secret Invasion. So there's going to be major spoilers, guys, major spoilers. A lot of things went down this episode, and I've talked to you, Daniel, about it, that there's three episodes left, right? Like Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. It's only a six-episode season. Every episode that this one's got to like hit the fan, no? Like every episode's got to have something that. I, I think with this episode they started hitting the, hitting the fan. Hitting, okay. Well, hitting we the haven't wall. been doing this <laughs> since the last episode, but we, I'm giving it a thumbs up. I, oh, yeah, I enjoyed yeah. no, this no, episode. No, we're, we're giving it a thumbs up. Two thumbs up, I guess, is what the Dust Poppers is giving it. If Angel ever responds to our text messages, I'll put another thumbs up or thumbs down. On his... Uh, who knows if, if he's even been uh, keeping up. He's in Puerto Vallarta, no? He is in Puerto Vallarta right now. So if you if you see Angel in Puerto Vallarta, uh, tell him to take a picture. Yeah. Uh, then, tell, uh, uh, buy him a shot for me. I'm uh, not going to send you the money, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about buying him a shot, but... Dude, you know what's crazy? I just thought about this rewatching the episode right now for the podcast because I had to yeah. watch it a couple times. I he pretty do. much sent his men out on a mission that he knew was probably going to fail. Like mm-hmm. his top guys too, like yeah. the, the Beto, uh, that's Beto. Not, that's, that's what they, they call, call him. Beto. I'm calling him Beto. Yeah. Uh, and I forgot the other guy. Uh, Page. It starts with a P. Give me a second. I have it somewhere on here. Pagan, right? Is it Pagan? Yeah. This is Pagan, right? This is one. Uh, oh. This is like his yeah, right hand man. Something like that. Yeah, so yeah. Pagan oh, and that, Beto. That was the guy that, they were on the submarine. Yeah. He said that he set that up for Gaia to to, to like find out who the snitch is. You know. Yeah. I'm just saying, but he's he's low key like. He does not care. Yeah, which is uh, gonna be uh, part of his downfall. You think? I, I feel like as a leader, you gotta at least show compassion. Cause yeah, you gotta you gotta show some sh- sort of remorse, like you said, compassion. Cause uh, when you just go all out, no give fucks, sacrificing your own people, it's pretty yeah, much what you're doing. Yeah, it's just going. It, it's just gonna turn your people against you. In the end of it, you can go the route of what's Charlie Manson or whatever, where you have call and you got yeah, like yeah. people who will follow you to the ends of the earth. Yeah, but Charles Manson. The, that's hard to do. Like, I well, yeah, I mean, you gotta fucking like brainwash him. I, I, mean, I don't know if he's. I don't know if this is the type of thing he's doing, but it, it, I don't think it's that. I will say I really love the scene. Uh, just moving a little bit forward with Gravik and Talos. When mm-hmm. they were in the museum. In the museum. Yeah, I feel like Gravik showed a lot more passion this episode. More of why, of, of his wants and the reason why he wants to destroy the humanity, I guess. Yeah, the way he brought up the painting. Yeah. And showing uh, the soldiers and, what was it, soldiers in the uh, motherfucking... Yeah, the soldiers uh, versus the, the guys. The guys in the painting were from World War One. Teddy yeah, Roosevelt yeah. was there. I, no, no, no. Winston, Winston Churchill was there. He wasn't the prime minister yet at World War One. He was yeah. just... He was like one of the cabinet seats or whatever at that point. But that's who was in the painting for World War One, And he was talking about how these guys sit there for to like... Oh, have yeah. The they, they sit and have pictures and talk about war and start war, but they're not on the front lines, yeah. no. Which is a little weird because Gravik is also a leader. So he's not he's not really in the front lines, you know? Yeah, not really. I mean, I, I guess he's sort of out there, but he's mostly like in the back rooms planning shit. Yeah, and he's sending the soldiers out. Like and he's sending the soldiers th- out. That's why I thought that was a Plan. weird Contradicts compar- himself. Yeah, he, th- I thought that was a contradiction because yeah, he was yeah. talking about the soldiers going out by themselves and he pretty much sent his soldiers out to die. Like, yeah, he's, they're yeah. pretty much... They're, well, they're, 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 they're under the submarine. Yeah. Which is a weird time to have a submarine in your show because if y'all know what happened... Well, I mean, it's not like you can't plan that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that they did that with the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yeah. So they had a subplot where they were trying to uh, steal a disease and all that, and they took out that whole plot because of COVID. Oh shit. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's why I, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I felt a little uneven with some scenes with the main villain, uh, yeah, the girl, yeah, yeah. because that's what she was trying to do from like the beginning. Yeah. Of, the, yeah. So they took that whole thing out, bro. Oh shit. Uh, which I mean, well, I mean this, I, I guess they could have done it differently, but no, I'm just kidding. I, mean, I don't really don't care. I'm just saying that yeah, they could have done like a like a jet or something. I just want to bring it up because right now it's trending, so I'm like putting in the <laughs> put in the title. You know what was really cool too? I don't know if you noticed, but as they're walking out of the museum, the old man drops something to Talos, right? Yeah, like a phone, I think it was. You know who the old man was? I did not. Gaia. Oh, because he's the one that called her after, later on in the show. No, no, maybe. I Okay, if, if you say that, maybe. But so when the old man goes behind the van yeah. and the van disappears, that man, that guy is right behind Gaia. 
So Gaia used him oh, to shapeshift. Oh, okay. So okay. That I didn't, way, I didn't yeah. notice that. Yeah, yeah. I'll put it on there, but... I think he dropped out, dropped the phone because... Uh, he calls her later. Oh, he so calls he called her, her right? He, he, he calls... Her, Talos calls uh, Gaia for the uh, submarine code word. Uh, yes. Well, this whole video, like the episode's called Betrayed. So we pretty much yeah. have a bunch of people that the bad guys and the good guys have like double agents, right? Yeah. So... Yeah. Let's go to Nick Fury, who's got his wife that we met the previous episode. Mm -hmm. She's acting a bit shady, too. Hey, that uh, kitchen scene was a little, you know. Intense. Intense. I mean, she threw some shade. She, and Nick Fury did, too. Uh, yeah. What was the question he asked her? Are you working for Gravik? And he, or are you with Gravik? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Did you notice how she responded? Yeah. I like mean, a she, liar. Like a liar. She deflected and said, you been gone. Yeah, you were gone for five years, and then and then you came back, and then you dipped again for another three years. She's like, how dare you ask me that? I'm like, yeah, Yo, yeah. Just, like <laughs> just answer the question. Yeah. Like, what? Like, is it that? You and know? then she takes a mysterious ass phone call. Like, come on. Well, come and on. you know what? I I think I would have done the same thing as Nick Fury because when I know like somebody is doing something shady, mm -hmm. like he turned his back to let her have her phone call, or whatever. But he knew, like, he yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Was like, I'm gonna give you your privacy, but you're yeah. not fooling anyone. You're not. You ain't gonna get me. I don't know if we talked about this last episode, but do you think there are two Nick Furies? I think we did bring it up. We talked about how... Uh, There's one with glasses. One with glasses. One without glasses. One without glasses. At, like, points during the episode. I, I didn't see the glasses one this episode, did we? Yeah. We did? Yeah, it was the one... I think the glasses is the one with Talos. I, no. Yeah. I, I honestly, I can't remember. I'm pretty sure Talos gets the one with glasses. Look, there's just, I, I'm just saying this show has so many plot twists yeah. that I'm like, there's so many ways. I, I, I think this one, this I think this show is going to fuck with this just because of how Nick Fury is. Yeah. You and know, just like he's the like, type of show. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you know, he's a shadowy type of figure and he's always like one step ahead of you. I think this is, this show is going to like try and like fuck with us. Bro, no, I think there's going to be the plot twist. Then they're going to hit us with another, like right after, like yeah, at the yeah. end, you know, like two major plot twists. Was like yeah. back to back. I think that would be a major plot twist if there was two Nick Furies and the mm -hmm. other one was Talos's wife. Because imagine that, bro. Imagine your wife dying. They did that in Young Justice. I don't know if you watch Young Justice. No. So what Nightwing did mm -hmm. was uh, he sent Aqualad to the bad guy side, mm -hmm. uh, saying that he switched sides because his dad is is Black Manta, right? Yeah. Him and Tigris went on the bad guy side. They had the whole season arc of them like fighting against them, and then at the end, they pretty much come out and it's like, "I'm a double agent," right? Mm -hmm. And and all, he didn't tell anybody else from like his team, you know. So everybody was like, "What the hell? Why didn't you tell us? Why didn't you trust us?" Mm -hmm. So like, I feel like it could be that same moment where Talos's wife comes out as Nick Fury as one of the Nick Furies. And she and Talos is like, you really like, I, I would feel betrayed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was I mean, Talos, if that if that happened, if your wife and your best friend were in on the, oh, like we did all this just to get graphic, you know? Plus, she's been gone for what, like years, about a year or something like that. Yeah. That, that's got to fuck with you. I think out of all the theories, I think that one's a little too crazy. That one's a little, a little far out there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I do like the theory, though, with Gaia. She obviously... Um, we see Gravik pretty much orchestrating this whole nuke, the plane down. All to, of this just to find out who, 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 the, the snitch. who the snitch was. And it was Gaia. Do you think she's actually dead? I was going to bring it up. I, I have a feeling she's not, but where the bullet hole was, was like where the heart should be. But I don't know. She's an alien, so it might be on the other side. So yeah, I mean, she, they showed a body. They, usually, they, they did show, hey, and they showed she reverted back to her alien self. So. Yeah, and that's usually not good, too, when we that, see That's not good. Side. So I have two major theories on this too, right? I want yeah. I want you to like come with <coughs> yeah, me. Yeah, let me let me hear them out. Come with me on this journey, right? So first theory, we watch early in the episode a great scene with Gravik and Talos there in mm -hmm. the coffee shop. Mm -hmm. He stabs him. Yes. He does the. Oh, where did we watch that? Who who? Uh, I think it was John Wick. You weren't there for that, huh? No. All right. So they did that in John Wick, where the guy just pulls yeah, his he pulls hand. his hand yeah, out. He was like, "How loyal are you to the cause?" Yeah. And he's like, you gotta, you gotta pull your hand out, like without like removing the knife, and yeah, it was yeah, nasty. Yeah. Uh, it was nasty. It was nasty watching this with the graphic and stuff. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, he he pulls his hand out, and early in the episode, they were talking about how um, well graphic used the word super scrolls. Super scrolls. He brought it up. They they want to get powers. So he already has powers. Is what I'm assuming. It's what. Yeah, it, looks like. it looked like he has powers already. Like he can uh, regenerate or heal himself. Like or, Groot. Like pretty much. I I, I would imagine. Probably has like super fast healing, like the. 
A great scene. I really thought that was a great scene between Talos and Gravik. And he was like, I'm going to send your daughter. I should have sent her back in a in a bag. Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn. But now, Gravik now is no mercy, that. bro. No mercy. Anyway, so one of the first series is that how Gaia was snooping around mm-hmm. in the last episode looking yeah. at all this. She injected herself with the super serum. So I, would, can, I would hope so because uh, she would heal herself here and then we'd so get like, it back. The next episode turns out with her healing herself, right? Uh-huh. That's the first theory is that she's going to be okay. Nothing's wrong with her. Mm-hmm. She pretty much fooled them to think that she's dead, right? That she's dead. Second theory, right? We haven't seen a lot of... You know how the scrolls shapeshift, right? They have to They have to have someone there to shapeshift, right? Yeah, they got to see something. Yeah, yeah so yeah, Gaia's yeah. human form is like one of the girls that are taken, they're in that little pod or whatever, getting their mind, mm-hmm. whatever. Mm-hmm. She gets awoken, and then she finishes what Gaia was trying to do by like unraveling this whole plot that Gravik is doing. But how would she know? Look, bro, I don't know. <laughs> how do how do we like how do we get like Gaia's memories into hers, or how does she like know everything that you know to sneak around and all that stuff? I look, I I I don't. We know how we know how they get their memories. Maybe but, it's, maybe it's a stupid theory, uh-huh. <laughs> but I just just thinking about how Talos will be seeing her, his dead daughter in somebody else. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody who's not your daughter but looks looks looks, yeah, looks like, like your daughter. Looks yeah. like the. Who your daughter was impersonating, you know? Yeah. And she could be someone high up in any like MI6 mm-hmm. or the CIA or yeah. Shield or Sword or mm-hmm. I don't know how many more things there are in this MCU universe. You know, that's all I'm saying. I think the two big theories that I think are reasonable. I think that first one is a lot more reasonable. It, it makes it makes more sense her injecting herself with the. It makes sense with because the they showed it like they wouldn't show us that unless there was like like obviously yeah. they showed us Gravik like doing all that. To show hey, that he uh, you know how the uh, earlier in the uh, second episode they were showing those uh, names? You remember? Yeah, Groot, Groot, uh, Cole Obsidian, yeah. the Frost Giant. Was it a Frost Giant? Or was I don't know, frost? but you think those are the powers that they like the first powers yeah. that they took? One hundred percent. So they took Groot's. So you think uh, Gravik has Groot's power of like? Uh, I think he has all three of them, bro. I think he's got ice and uh, strength. I think I think call call Obsidian is just strength. I think that's just like yeah, yeah, super yeah. strength. I don't know who the fourth oh, person shit. is. That's a that's a good that's a good list to you know start off. He did say that uh, they want to take powers and be able to transform or like shape shift. You know, say like uh, you know how they can shape shift into different persons. Yeah. He, like get different powers one of the comments that told us you know we were wrong I'll, I'll admit it we don't read the <laughs> comics so in the comics when they shape shift into the heroes they don't get their powers yeah. so they have to like create the powers and inject themselves with the powers so they just have like a so lot of powers just you're just like in like little seals and all that where they're you know like oh so they gotta like do it like a bunch of different times like, like if they want speed they had to go with speed and then if they want strength they had to like switch it out like, no i don't things. think switch it out you just get speed and then you always got speed i think oh okay point. Hey, i mean you'd have to have like a shit ton of like fucking serial things that you know, was injecting yourself like that i mean i guess that's a question for the writers for the secret evasion i don't know how strong you want the super scrolls to be because it would make them weaker if they have to inject themselves every time you know like yeah. that'll make them a little bit more like oh okay like they're not super strong or just like kind of strong with that weakness where they have to inject themselves every time could work like that too you know having a, a way to defeat them yeah. A little bit easier, I guess. I mean, if they do get superpowers, who's who's stopping them? What else can we bring up? Oh, oh the, but yeah. Oh, go ahead. Uh-huh. Go ahead. No, Maybe, I, I gonna, think we're going to bring up... I was just going to bring up uh, Fury's wife again. At the end, right? That's what we're talking about? At the, the very end. end. Okay, At great. I was going to bring end. that up, too. She... No, this is what y'all been waiting for. She gets another call that says to go to St. whatever. St. James. St. James Something, St. Peter. Yeah, it's it's yeah. definitely one of the saints. It's one of the saints. To meet at the church in an hour... And she wants to talk to Gravik. And he's like, I'm sorry, but you got me instead. You're talking to me, bitch. You're talking to me. Hey, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Did you recognize that voice? It sounded familiar, but I couldn't put a, you know, a name to the voice. Who was it? Are you being serious? You don't recognize that voice? Uh, I'd have to watch it again. You don't know who that was? Mm, no. My boy, that's Rody. Oh, was it Rody? Yeah, one hundred percent, without a doubt, bro. That's Rody, bro. How do you? Uh, I, I'm have to go back and rewatch it. I can't it. believe you didn't recognize his voice. You I thought what? you were. You know what? Hold on. St. James Church, one hour. I need to speak to Graphic. Yeah, well, you're talking to me. Yeah, no, no. That first couple words sounded exactly like Rody 
the second half did not. I I, I didn't I didn't catch his uh. Bro, I just I, I think the opposite, voice. bro. I really at the first part was a little not roadie ish, and yeah. I thought the second part I was like that that that's roadie. There's so, no- so I guess it's definitive then because I get the first half and you get the second half. Yeah, I think I I think it's definitive no matter what. Okay, so here's the thing, right? So we have the wife is a double agent, mm-hmm. and we have Gaia that's a double agent. Mm-hmm. Do you think roadie is a triple agent? Because there's no like working for the president and then working for Fury and then working no so yeah working for the president which means that he's working for Fury yeah. but he's actually working for Gravic but he's actually working for Fury oh I don't know that that'd be that hey that that's that's probably one of the twists no I'm just saying because there's a, there's already a lot of double agents bro you can't just well I mean when we're talking about espionage and all this type of Stuff that's going on right now. I think everybody's going to be, you know, a double agent somehow. But I feel like that would be really corny. You know, like that Key and Peele sketch. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. Like a, it's a three-way Mexican, Mexican standoff. And he's yeah. like, I actually brainwashed, you know, whatever. You've seen it, right? Yeah. No, sure. Okay. So I feel like, you know, like that's corny. bro. Like, yeah, that's funny because like that's what they're trying to do. But yeah. with a serious show like Secret Evasion... Not everybody can be a double agent, bro. Like, you know, like... Like, Gravik's going to be in the working, like, for Fury for some reason. Yeah, like, Gravik's <laughs> actually near Fury. And then, like, it's just... At some point, all the double agents just get a little boring. That's what I'm saying, that yeah. maybe he's a triple agent. Because we still haven't seen a scroll besides Talos that... Oh, well, I guess Gaia. That's working with Nick Fury, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, he's working for the president, but working for Gravik, but actually working for Nick Fury. Triple now, agent. do we go back and think he's a uh, scroll? Who, Rody? Rody. 100%. Yeah. Do, you, do you think he's not? Okay. I don't know. I mean, this is this is now starting to point like he is one. Uh, so I thought he was always a scroll. Yeah. But now that you said that, maybe, because that'd be a bigger plot twist, right? That, that he's not one? <laughs> no, he's just working for Gravik for the hell just of it. Just for the fuck of it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, he's like, he's you know like yeah, I want to take down the government too. Life got a little boring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me spice it up a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. I want to go to war again. Yeah. I, want to, I want a reason to put the suit on. Yeah, right? Yeah. War machine, bro. I feel like... <laughs> Will you be disappointed if there's like no plot twist at all? Like everything we're talking about, like nothing like, really yeah, happens, yeah, it's just straightforward? Yeah. Would you be a little bit disappointed? Yeah, because what are they going to do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I feel like they need a... Big we, plot we, need, we need a plot twist. We need something. We need a couple. We, I feel we, like we need something that's gonna fucking you know throw us off the the rails. You know. Yeah. Throw just throw off the whole fucking show like just off yeah, the yeah, fucking like, rails. Yeah, yeah. Like something that has like completely different. Like Rody being not a scroll <laughs> working for graphic. That'd be like off the rails, bro. Yeah. I'd be like, okay, what the fuck are we doing now? Yeah. Or like, like guys, there's, there's gotta be something out there that's just gonna throw us off. I can't wait for next episode. It's gonna be a good one.